Eye cream, yes. Time machine, no. Olay has now withdrawn this heavily airbrushed advert of a 60-year-old Twiggy looking about half her age. Whereas this is how we know and love her. Of course she's going to have some wrinkles. 700 people complained to the Advertising Standards Authority about the airbrushing, and even those who advocate it are shocked. It's a lie. Mm. It's a lie for the public, and it's, a, it's, 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 it's very bad advertising for the product itself. Professional photographer Fabrice Rizzato was able to show me in seconds how far he would have taken the digital trickery. Look at the left side of Twiggy's face here. He says Ole went too far. It's like cosmetic surgery, it should be done slightly mm. to make it look a bit better, a bit refresh, refreshing the face but not over the top. The formula enriched with vitafibrine helps to... Every day we are bombarded with images, claims and supposed science. The MP leading the anti-airbrush campaign says it's a potentially dangerous con. Rather than presenting images which are entirely unattainable, that just end up leading to body dissatisfaction, present some more reality in advertising by not having excessive airbrushing and requiring advertisers to label to see the extent to which an image has been airbrushed. Ole confesses to minor retouching of this image, inconsistent with its own policies. The fashion industry as a whole says airbrushing is here to stay. I think if this MP hadn't brought it to light, there wouldn't have been 700 complaints. There may have been a handful of complaints, and that would have reflected what the public really think. Ole has reissued its advert. It's definitely Twiggy, and not the woman they tried to airbrush from history. Simon Viger, 5 News.